Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Sagittarius, this is your reading for the month of May and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Sagittarius will see uh, what is uh, what is the energy dynamic between you and your ex. Energy dynamic between you and the next, that is the next romantic partner. This is a general reading, okay? So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below, Sagittarius. Also, there is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in description box and comment section. Let's get started. I'm going to pull out the cards for your ex first. Three cards for your ex and three cards for your next. We are going to start with your ex. We have King of Wands. Hmm, your, your ex is still smitten by you. Your ex is still desiring you. Your ex is still fantasizing you a lot. Okay. They still have uh, your photographs. They still have... Uh, they have not deleted the text messages that you both of you have exchanged and they find happiness by going through those text messages or by looking at your photographs especially when they look at your photographs they also think that you were so you're so amazing you're so wonderful looking person and someone very very attractive and they really like that Okay, they, it, is, it is kind of a routine activity for this person to go through your photographs. Okay, and it really makes them happy. It genuinely brings a smile on this person's face. Still low-key obsessed with you. Still desiring you. Still want to have a connection with you. Are they... Uh, have they do they know like they have committed a mistake and because of that the things did not work out indeed they know everything indeed they know that they were wrong they pushed you away okay they want to come back they want to apologize and they want to restart everything okay they want a fresh start with you this person is still passionate about you like and the passion has not at all fizzled away the way this person was passionate on the first, I mean, the first time you guys met one another. The way this person felt at that point of time, that feeling has still continued within them. They still feel the same. Hmm. Then we have three of wands. Three of wands is telling me, uh, Sagittarius that let me pull out another card as well Nine of Swords yeah sometimes they, they feel surprised as to how strong uh, emotions they still continue to have for you they, they, they feel surprised about their emotions for you I mean, I think so. Uh, I don't feel this is a recent past breakup. For many of you, I do feel like it's been almost at least a year. Okay. You guys, probably there is a no contact situation. You haven't met. You haven't seen one another. Uh, and this, this person is feeling surprised that even as of now, the emotions for you has, the emotions for you have not at all died. They are still there and not only they are there, the intensity of the emotions is still the same. And that kind of creates fear in this person's mind. Okay, yes, they want to come back. Yes, they want to reignite a situation. But somewhere deep down, they know that you have moved on. Somewhere deep down, they know that you don't want them back. Somewhere deep down, they know that they have hurt you a lot. Okay, so they they are trying to push themselves to move on. They are trying to push themselves to get over you, 
be with someone else, move on in their life, okay? But sometimes, I mean, with the Nine of Swords, I do feel like I don't know, somewhere deep down, this person still has this, like, there are, it's a lot of push and pull emotion over here. On one hand, they want to be with you, on the other hand, they don't want to be, I mean, they know that you don't want them back, so they want to make attempts to move on, at which they are unsuccessful. But on the other hand, they also feel like some, uh, maybe in this lifetime, both of you are meant to cross paths all over again. Okay, and when you guys will cross paths at that point of time, they don't want you to to have forgotten them by that time, or they don't want them to have forgotten you at that point of time. They want to experience that energy, that joy, uh, after meeting one another. So they fear like if they move on, if they if they uh, get over you, and if they. Uh, get into a relationship with someone else and what if they forget you what if the emotions uh, start fading away okay so if you guys coincidentally cross paths will those emotions be there at that point of time i mean they this person has some they they have some far-fetched thoughts and they are imagining a a, a distant situation and how things should be in that distant fu distant future situation and they want things to happen that way so because they want to nurture that fantasy that they have like in in future say like after 10 years if you guys cross paths okay they want to see that they want to feel happy to meet you they want to feel happy and joyous to see you okay but then they fear that if today they move on if they get into a relationship with someone else and these intense emotions that they are experiencing for you right now if those emotions fizzle away if those emotions fade away will they be happy when they will see you after 10 years will they feel that will they experience that those joyous feelings when both of you will cross paths after 10 years. Okay. So they're, they're imagining a far-fetched situation. And accordingly, they're trying to act now. They're, they're, those fears are controlling them right now. They have, they, they have kept your memories fresh in their mind. And they want to keep your memories fresh in their mind. Okay. They are obsessed with you, no doubt about it. <laughs> they are obsessed with you. And I think so, because of that also, they, they sometime, sometimes they, they experience fears. Like, my goodness, I'm so obsessed with such devious. Like, I don't want to move on. I have refused to move on. Because I want to remain obsessed with Sagittarius. Whereas Sagittarius doesn't want to uh, be with me. Sagittarius has moved on already. Their obsession for you kind of worries them. Okay. About, about their future. Kind of worries them about their own life. Like what if I stay in this energy throughout my life? What if I refuse to move on and never and ever... Uh, be with what if i what if i remain single lifelong just because i want to cherish memories with sagittarius so their own actions their own thoughts their own feelings for you are scaring them and that is why we have nine of swords interesting sagittarius as far as your new person is concerned, we have three of cups. This is someone with a lot of lighthearted energy, new person. Uh, I don't think so. They're going to be like overly possessive and obsessive about you. I think so. Your past person was. Your past person was possessive and obsessive about you. 
to a certain extent you liked it but after some point of time you started feeling suffocated but this new person definitely they are not going to do anything to make you uncomfortable for sure okay they in fact they love to give space to the other person they love to take care of the needs of the other person they love to understand what makes the other person happy what makes the other person comfortable and accordingly they they conduct themselves okay so i do see a lot of light hearted energy okay this person will be like maybe say for example okay this this past ex of yours they were so obsessive about you they will they were like we we are never going on a nudist beach okay we are never and ever going on a nudist beach even if on a regular beach if you are wearing a bikini and you know going for a surf or taking a dip this person used to feel so damn insecure okay whereas this person is going to be like roam around nude wherever you want to okay <laughs> i mean they are not going to be careless uh, they will have that care for you love for you but they won't stop you from having a little bit of fun okay so having said so they won't uh, i'm not saying that they will encourage you for uh, anything extreme that might hurt this connection no not at all but they will not stop you from being who you are they will in fact encourage and motivate your true personality they will know right away what makes you really happy and they will encourage you to do that more and more and that is how you will realize like wow this person is so amazing none of my exes not even my parents thought so amazing for me okay everyone wanted to control me everyone wanted to tell me what should i be doing what should i not be doing everyone wanted to wanted to see me in a certain doing certain things or doing specific things acting in a specific manner or saying specific things but this person they don't want me to be someone specific they want me to be me so they are more happy seeing me doing things what i want saying things what i want okay ace of cups yes sagittarius there this is a wonderful opportunity where you are going to experience lot of love the water is overflowing from the cup there is lot of love in the situation sagittarius and this is something that you are going to cherish okay this is you are in fact you are going to take some cautious approach towards this connection because it is going to take some time for you to believe that this person is actually a well wisher or they are actually a genuine person they actually genuinely care for you you want to take some time to realize this okay or to accept it because none of your previous partners cared for you and you are not at all used to to someone like this so accepting someone like this who can actually care for you is going to take some time for you okay 10 of swords 10 of swords is telling me that both of you will have a feeling sagittarius pretty quickly in this relationship both of you will have a feeling that none of you will be able to live without one another i'm talking about a new person indeed the below spread is of the new person the above spread is for your ex so you will realize both of you will realize pretty quickly that it's only with you life without you is nothing life without you is zero it's a zero sum game life with you is everything and life without you is nothing both of you are going to realize that pretty quickly okay i think so there is going to be a very small period of separation and that too it's not going to be because of any kind of fights or verbal altercations no not at all maybe this person will have to travel for work they will have to travel for xyz reasons genuine reasons 
But then at that point of time, both of you will realize like you really don't want to live away from one another. Both of you want to be together constantly. Both of you want to be with one another all the time. That is going to make you realize that yes, this is the one for me. This is what I want in my life. Okay, I hope this real I hope this resonates. Hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you. Action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person. Take care, have a great time and bye-bye.